So life task summary, integrity, degenerative task, career consolidation, the interpersonal task, and the imperial task. So life task, relative time periods. Again, these are relative. You know, we can reach a point of integrity. I can say at, at some point in our life, maybe not towards the end, but we can look at certain ages in terms of these timelines. So the imperial task, adolescence to young adulthood, 14 to 28. And in one of my future classes, I can spell out a little bit more about where I came with these numbers. But for now, you just kind of go with me in this respect. Yeah, I think you might be able to actually cotton on with my, why I've noted these numbers, these ages. Okay. Into personal tasks, adolescence to young adulthood, 14 to 28. Career consolidation to mid-age, adulthood to mid-age, 28 to 56. And then third quarter, the third quarter of lifespan. Some of us may have heard that term from our friend John Gray, third quarter, relating to the time frame of 56 to 84. And the integrity stage, fourth quarter of life, 84 to 112. Again, but we can look to find that integrity stage within that third quarter. But relatively speaking, uh, those time frames are, are what I've discerned as, as something as a, a general framework. Okay. So greater understanding, value of awareness of life task. Recognize the task experience those in your world are having and being able to iterate accordingly. Okay, so you recognize where a person's at, whether they're in that career consolidation phase or if they're that interpersonal stage. And you can say if a person's talking with you about having a problem with someone else, you can say maybe at some point in that interpersonal stage, there was something lacking. There was something that maybe was inverted. The polarity was inverted. And they have caused a certain stuckness within that stage. But understanding that, and maybe being large with that person, we can help serve them in terms of maybe freeing up that for that person or assisting them to help free it up for themselves. Paying attention to your life and the task which you are currently addressing is paramount to, paramount to seeing and appreciating your success in life. So whatever stage we're at, actually see how far we actually have come. And that we're not finished with this process as long as we are still breathing. Acknowledging changes in life circumstance or tasks requires constant renovation of our own consciousness. <clears throat> Periods of transition can be rough. They will involve leaving behind old concepts and beliefs of being in the world. There may be a time of floundering. So as we're moving and say from that career con consolidation stage of working all our lives and moving into a generative stage, you know, we may be hitting a wall and there might be a time of floundering, but to understand that. And then transition times can often be preceded by health challenges. It's almost like subconsciously something might take over and, and cause us to not want to open our eyes that there is something more. And, you know, that might actually cause a, a health challenge to appear. But when we understand more about what's happening, say, within ourselves or within another, you can say we can be of greater service to another, but also a greater ability to move along ourselves individually. So I've given you a bit to digest right now, and let's just have a little bringing it all together meditation, and then we'll see what's next after that. So again, let's Let's upright ourselves, maybe close our eyes, and I'll take you through a meditation of what we just shared. So let's just breathe in slow. Breathe out slower. And consider life stages, life tasks. Maybe something that I mentioned may have rung some bells with you in terms of the interpersonal tasks that you were involved in in adolescence or maybe even now, or the imperial task of sensing your own agency and own self-confidence, career consolidation phase, task of acknowledging the work that you're doing now or the work that you did do and how maybe you've moved from that and maybe you had some challenges moving from it. 
and then opening up to the generative task, the generative task of, of being of, of greater service to the world, of preparing yourself, maybe reading, you know, reading pertinent materials that, that you just wanted to so engage with that you can be in that generative state. And then being aware of, of how maybe you've been challenged with that and how you may have not taken your opportunities and causing a sense of stagnation with them. But then seeing anew, but here we are now, taking our opportunities to be here together, to acknowledge that there's, there's more, there's more of an awakened state an awakened state of, of integrity, an apex state, an apex, an apex state of, an, of realizing presence, of acknowledging a sense of wholeness, of letting go to that, of being still with it, and breathing, slowing down, being still. Just breathing in now, breathing in slow and out slower. And opening up your consciousness, our individual consciousness of seeing more in this respect. Acknowledging our strong points, acknowledging the challenges we may have had, recognizing the challenges we've had, and giving thanks to see to be conscious of them, and now to have greater understanding for something more of an awakened, awakened state to be experienced individually and together. And here's our work as conscious, healthy, aging individuals looking to make a difference in the world. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay. okay, let's move on here. Okay, and the next stage is just consider. Personally, consider what's been most meaningful to you. And if you want to make some notes, or if you have it just even mentally making you know, and consider what's been meaningful to you. How does it relate to yourself, your family, your friends, and the world? So just take a moment to explore that for yourself. Maybe some thoughts came across while we did our meditation. Um, if you want to make some notes, they could be helpful. <laughs> 